We're getting ready to go. It's 728 and I can leave the dock at 730 and 50 seconds. 50 seconds. This is pretty exciting. Uh, this is exciting. It's a championship format. It's uh, the FLW title championship and we have day one. Obviously I've got my official over here, Jody. So uh, he's going to keep me in line. Um, everyone's uh, starting to kind of pull out here away from the dock, shove off. Other guys have started trailering. They're to parts unknown. They can trailer however, wherever, wherever they want within the tournament water. So that's, who knows where anyone's at right now. So I've chose to stay local and try to uh, maximize um, all my fishing time. And hopefully, you know, things will be better than they were in practice anyways. Practice was a little slow. But uh, you, the thing about practice is you never know because you, you don't just sit there and catch them and catch them and catch them. So uh, hopefully today we'll catch them and catch them and catch them. Here we go. Gosh, I was really hoping these fish would have stayed here. I think they're here. It's not like I thought I was on a giant block. But I came through here and I had one roll on the jerk bait and I caught, I jumped off another like three and a half and then I caught a, like a two and three quarter and I just left. And I thought, and if those will stay there, there's probably a good wad there. It doesn't look like they're, oh, there he is. I am everywhere. If you don't mind, can I hit spot lock? Yes. Okay. I hope for all that she's two pounds. <laughs> two pounds, zero ounces. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> what a train wreck. My first time is a train wreck. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Ready? Got it. <laughs> okay. All right. No. Give us a good release. And hey, you know, I wasn't even thinking about the release. Thankful, <laughs> thankfully, it was a good release. Uh, oh, the hook, the jerk bit wasn't even badly in there. Okay. Now. Your penalty. Okay. He uh, he was hooked just right there in the mouth, and I was like, if I if I play him, yeah, I see. I don't know if so. But I thought I could I thought I could just grab him. But he, anyways, I'm just ha I'm thankful I got him in the boat. I can't have a drink of water, can I? No. Okay. You can't do anything that you would have done if you would have stopped fishing to take a drink. You it would, can't, yeah, you can't do it. right. You can't, you can't utilize this portion to do that. Yeah, you can't retire. I'm, I'm glad they're still here. Well, at least that one was. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Start fishing. Hey, that fish has you in thirteenth. There's thirteen anglers on the score tracker. Half the field, roughly. Good load. Kurt Mitchell's still in first with 11 pounds, 9 ounces, and 3 fish. And you're the only angler with a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> but you got it out of the way. Hopefully it's the last one. Got one fish, and I had a two-minute penalty. It was one fish for two pounds even. I'm on the board. Well, let's make a move. We're not going very far, we're just going straight across over here.
lost one on a drop shot crash. Of course not. lost three fish. We haven't even been here five minutes. My hook is perfect. After losing three, a four or five will work. <laughs> I guess I need it. I can just get right back in it, right? That's what you want to do. You want to catch them faster than I can ride them down. <laughs> That's the goal, right? That's has 10 fish for 37 pounds, 14 ounces. Oh! You're 27 pounds, 10 ounces out of me. <laughs> but you're 11 pounds, 5 ounces out of second. I've already had those bites. Thank you. 
might need to lay it on the carpet to remove a hook. You can do that. I think I can just get it done, but I am very good at this. Just trust me. I have caught many of them tra rainbow trout. <laughs> <laughs> front of the boat with that uh, live site that was so awesome I pitched over there and he just I have to retire he just playing that line real bad 37 pounds at like 9.15 I'm saying <laughs> that fish put you in fourth place Casey Scallon is in second with 21 pounds 9 ounces Evan Barnes is in third 14 pounds, 5 ounces. You're one pound behind him. Third place. Kurt Mitchell, should I even go on with it? Or uh, yeah. 11 fish, 41 pounds, 3 ounces. You are 27 pounds, 14 ounces behind him. I stopped on this spot in practice and I caught one 3 pounder and I just left. I was hoping that it would be one of those surprise type places. <laughs> but you just never know. Four ten. That's your fifth fish. Give you seventeen pounds, fifteen ounces. Put you in fourth place. Twenty one pounds, nine ounces is second place. I have how much? 17? 17, 8. So you need 4 pounds and 1 ounce to move into second. 74 pounds, 0 ounces is first. How much? 74 pounds, 0 ounces. All you need is 56 pounds and an ounce to catch first place. Go, Kurt, go! That's all I can say to that one. <laughs> My fish are moving around. I think, I mean, clearly, uh, clearly, old Kurt's fish are just sitting right there, <laughs> just sitting right where they're supposed to.
pounds, six ounces. We need a picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, three six. The fish gives you twenty one pounds five ounces. You're in third place. Casey scallon has got twenty one pounds nine ounces. You're four ounces out of second place. When you keep this up, you may get a camera here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, boss. See you later. How hey, you doing? I'm Rick. Rick James. Nice, nice to meet you, you, James. Well, I get to put Whoop. a mic on you. You ever been filmed before? Yes, sir. Good. James, I got a school tracker update. Kurt Mitchell's in first place, 83 pounds, 5 ounces. Casey Scallon's in second place, 32 pounds, 13 ounces. Gray Buck is in third place, 30 pounds, 6 ounces. Evan Barnes is in fourth, 29 pounds, 3 ounces. Greg Bohannon's in fifth, 22 pounds, 14 ounces. You're in sixth, 21 pounds, 5 ounces. 62 pounds out of the lead. Oh my goodness, 62 pounds out of the lead. The beautiful thing about being that far out of the lead is you're on a place that you can actually make that up. I mean, that's possible to make that up. So, and under this format, you know, if you make it into the shotgun round, and the weight's zero, so you're still in the hunt. So that's good. Some gobies pulling on the on the drop shot bait. Usually that's a good thing because when there's gobies around, obviously that's what the smallmouth are feeding on. So, uh, and sometimes when I get the goby biting my bait, I'll actually get a bite from the smallmouth. So, that one had to go. How have, you, how have you adjusted the score tracker? Does it drive you nuts or give me your thoughts? Uh, the, the score tracker, you know, it, it hasn't been that bad for me, the score tracker, just because you've got somebody like Kurt that's just literally running away with it. I'm just trying to keep up with the guys I'm around and we're bouncing and jockeying back and forth. And I think as long as you're in the mid, in the mix of the thing, it, it's okay. You know, you, 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 you just kind of know, okay, a couple fish here, a couple fish there. But Casey's now starting to really pull ahead so he's starting to get away from us as a pack but uh, I'm actually I mean surprisingly I didn't think I would really enjoy it as much because I, I kind of don't want to know what everybody else is doing but I actually do like knowing to some degree it's weird I, feel, I know I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth but it's, it's taking some getting to use getting used to that's for sure finds out oh man that that period started out well, you know, got some fish catches, some nice fish, so I think some of my better ones. And then it, the action just started to taper off, and I was sitting there for quite a while without a bite. Caught that one walleye. Finally, just said, I got to make a move, try to get on this score tracker, score tracker, and just start getting some updates. And uh, made a move, and I just nothing happened. Caught one little small one. Gonna have to regroup during this period, tie on a couple of fresh leaders, and probably move back to where I caught them earlier just to check and see if they may have set back up. Look at that. There are a bunch of them on there. I can do that, right? What's that? Look at my graph. You look at your graph. You just can't mark anything. Oh. 30 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, lines in. Third period has begun.